I get asked a lot about time management. And uh, if anybody's ever listened to my podcast or we ever spend time talking, you hear me talk about the power of reading, the power of strategic think time, all the things that we need to do. Talk about the focus 90, spending the first 90 minutes of your day on the most important things in your life that will move the needle in the areas that are important to you. One of the biggest things I hear all the time is, yeah, but you don't understand, Brett. It's different. I have to start out each day and I've got this thing going on and then this fire happens in the morning. And, and, and for me, that's why that focus 90 is so important is to make sure that I can move the needle in the areas that are really important to me in my life before I deal with all the other fires that we have to put out. Now, does that mean that that people are perfect and you just do that every single day and there's never something that trumps that and it gets in the way? Of course not. But what I like to look at is my ideal day, my ideal week, my ideal month that results in my ideal year. And one of the things we look at here on this sheet that you can see is the st uh, statistical weekly graph. There's 10,080 minutes in a week. And strategic think time, that's an hour and a half, right? An hour and a half a week. Reading 10 pages a day, there's your results. It's about 3% of your week. Exercise, 30 to 45 minutes a day minimally, right? Small number there you can see. Focus 90, 90 minutes a day for five days during the week. Then your work, eight hours a day. Then your sleep. And then your rest of the week, you still have 40%, 40% of your week when you do the things like strategic think time, like focus 90, your work, right? Reading the things that are important to move the needle in our life, you still have 40% of the week.